Okay, in this physics problem, we're going to work with uh, vectors. And here we have a stake in the ground that is being pulled out and by the means of two ropes. And you can see them right here. One of them is P. The other one is one, uh, this one that has a magnitude of uh, 120 newtons. And uh, we know that this angle is 25. And this one we will adjust to 30. Now, they are asking us to determine by trigonometry the magnitude of this force P in such a way where the resultant will be vertical on the stake. And in part B, they are asking us to find the corresponding magnitude of this resultant. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, first let's start by drawing our force triangle. First, I drew the R since I know that that is vertical so there's very little chance for you to mess that up just make it vertical and you don't have to make it exactly perfect this triangle when you finish it overall it doesn't have to be perfect it's just roughly to resemble it so you can uh, get your calculations we're gonna do respect the numbers though okay so R first since it's vertical second I'm gonna take these two and I'm going to transfer it down here in a way that uh, pretty much matches my drawing. See, I'm going to take P and I'm going to, without moving it or twisting it or anything, I'm just going to take it and I'm going to bring it down and put it down there. Then I'm going to take this one and same. I'm going to bring it down here and put it into my triangle in the same direction. And this way they don't get messed up. Now we calculate this angle right here. We know that this vector, the 120 vector, is from here, and next to it is this vertical line, right? So here the vertical line is at the tip, not at the end. But from trigonometry we remember that if we have two parallel lines, then when this one is crossing, this angle and this angle will be the same. And for that matter of fact, this angle is the same as this one. So same here. By having another vertical line right here, we're going to have this setup. And we know that this angle is the same as this one down here. And that's what we have here. 25, 25. All right. Now, same here. We're going to work on the uh, vector P. We see that... P is next to a vertical line, but it here is the same setup. This is vertical and P is right here. This is 30, so therefore this is 30 as well. Now, in order to calculate this angle right here, we're going to resort to this. We know that all the angles together are 180. So since we do know this one, we do know this one, 180 minus 25 minus 30 will give us uh, 125 degrees. So in part A of the problem, they are asking us to find P, this one right here. We know this angle, this angle, this angle, and we know this uh, vector right here, this side of the triangle. So in order to calculate this one, what we can use is the law of sines right here. We're going to apply it to this force triangle and we're going to write only two of these parts. We don't need all three. So we're going to use this side over sine 30 and then P, this side over sine of 25. Solve for P, calculate 101.4 Newtons. Okay, now in part B, they are asking us to find the resultant, which is this one. Now, we know all the angles, we know this side, this side. We could uh, apply law of cosines again, but just for variety, let's use law of cosines. We could use law of sines twice, or let's use law of cosines here. Okay, now, we are interested in R, so we're gonna write up our cosine right here. There you go. We're going to have the square, square of 120 plus the square 
of p, which we calculated right here, 101.4 on the square, minus 2 times 120 times 101.4, and then cosine of the angle between these two, which we calculated to be 125. Now with the calculator, we can go ahead and find our answer.